When we defined functions, we said that a function f, which mapped the set A to the set B, was a bijection if it was both one to one and onto. And what that meant was that for f to be a bijection, every element in B had to be mapped to by exactly one element in A. Now, in order to be a function, um, every element in A had to have something in B that it mapped to. So we can use this definition to start to measure or count the sizes of sets. And we say that a set is countable if there exists a bijection from that set to some subset of the natural numbers. So I can assign a count to the size of the set. Now we'll start with the easiest and most trivial of cases, and that would be a finite set. So let's say we've got a set A, which has cardinality M. That means there's M distinct elements in the set A. So to show that this is countable, I just have to find some subset of the natural numbers such that I can define a bijection between A and that subset. Well, given that I know there's M elements in A, I can pick M different integers, all from the set of natural numbers. So I may as well pick one, two, three, four, all the way up to M. And if I do that, then for some ordering of the elements of A, say I number them largest to smallest, smallest to largest, doesn't matter, or any arbitrary order, then once they're in the order, I can say A1 maps to 1, A2 maps to 2, A3 maps to 3, and so on until AM maps to M. Now, that is clearly a bijection because each A something, A1, maps to a unique one in the output set, one, A2 to two, A3 to three, A4 to four, and AM to M, and every element in that output set, which is a subset of the natural numbers, is mapped to by exactly one element of A. So any finite set is countable, and that's quite easy to prove because all I have to do is select the first m integers where m is the cardinality of the set that I'm trying to prove is countable. Although it's quite clear that a finite set should be countable, it's less obvious that an infinite set should be or can be. And what we'll see is that, well, not all infinities are created equal. So let's consider the set of all integers, Z. So clearly this contains an infinite number of elements. There's not a largest integer, there isn't a smallest integer. The list goes on indefinitely positively and indefinitely negatively. Now I'm going to consider this bijection, which says if I've got a number n, if n is even, then I'll halve it. So f of n is n over 2, if 2 does divide n, and if 2 does not divide n, i.e. n is odd, I'll add 1 to it, then halve it, and take the negative of that. Now I can see that that's a bijection. Now I've actually switched round rather than mapping the inputs to a subset of the natural numbers. I'm mapping a subset of the natural numbers to, to the inputs. But that's fine because a bijection has a unique input for each output and 
the same the other way around, the same vice versa. So I'd map 0 to 0, because it's even. I'd map 1 to 1 plus 1 over 2 and negate that to get to minus 1. So you can see I'll get this as I map 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll get 0, minus 1, 1, minus 2, 2, minus 3, 3, and so on. Now that's clearly a bijection because there, every number in the left-hand column in the set of natural numbers I'm working from has something it maps to. And not just something, but something unique that it maps to. So I can see that the list on the right, the set Z, the set of all integers, maps with a bijection to the set of natural numbers. So even though it's easy to think that, oh, well, there's an infinite number of positive integers, and there's an infinite number of negative integers, so the set of integers, positive or negative, is twice as big as the set of um, positive integers, I can actually see that I can define a unique map between these. So in fact, there's a bijection between the set of natural numbers or non-negative integers and the set of all integers. So because every element in the natural numbers maps to exactly one element in the integers, I can say that this infinite set of integers is countable because there is a bijection to some subset of the natural numbers, albeit an infinite subset of the natural numbers. So we refer to a set which is both infinitely large but still countable. You'll sometimes hear it described as countable or sometimes countably infinite.